Good afternoon. The first item of business this afternoon is time for reflection. Our time for reflection leader today is Ms Nandi Mandela, uh, businesswoman, speaker at the 2014 Edinburgh International Culture Summit and granddaughter of Nelson Mandela. The Honourable Presiding Officer, Honourable Members of Parliament, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen, it is a great honour and privilege for me to be standing in front of you today to reflect uh, for, for time of for reflection uh, to the Honourable Members of Parliament. I was with my grandfather a few years ago when we were having lunch at home in our country home, Kunu, uh, half listening to a conversation when he said something that struck a chord. He said, young people don't have time for old people. And because of that, they, they lose out on things that are important in life. The next thing he said was that if we are to build a developing country like South Africa, we need to give ourselves time to spend with the elderly or young people. While I was thinking to myself, I was just asking you to tell me about your health. And now you're telling me about a goat that got stuck in a fence. Clearly that doesn't add value to my life, I thought at the time. And what he had to say is that we need to learn to be patient. We need to learn to listen. Even though I'm a person who likes engaging people of different walks in life, including the elderly, I felt before that statement, I would not sit and listen to somebody who's long-winded about anything that they have to tell me. The moral of the story is that in today's world, we have very little time to listen and reflect on all the things that we do in life. And the most important lesson is that the elderly have contributed to their family life, to the life of a country, to the general world at, at large. And secondly, when you pause and listen, you show that you care. The parable helps to bridge the gap between the old and the young, the most sophisticated and the simple life, the fast-paced world and the slow rural environment. It is similar to the parable of a sheep in Matthew 18, verse 12 and 13. The owner rejoiced after finding one lost sheep, even though the 99 did not wander. Like the lost sheep today, we somehow have lost our way. We have little respect for people that are different from us. We are so attuned to our own way of doing things. It is my way or the highway. As we go back to our fast-paced world, we need to take a moment to pause and listen and make sure that we do our bit to bridge the gap. I thank you. Thank you. Next item of business is topical questions. Question one, Jim Hume.